The dog nerdy continues. I may or may not have uh, covered this before, but again, like all bully breeds, pit bulls, end of the day, they're 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 the same dog. They may just have a, a little bit of difference, but they're the same. Just by looking at these ones. Just looking at these ones. And they, they're, they're all the same. They have the same uh, um, skull structure. The same. They look the same. They, they look identical. Again, I don't even know their names. But a lot of us would still call them pit bull. We'll, we'll call them bully breeds. Because they're the same thing. They do exactly the same thing. They're all worthless and dangerous. So with them banning one or two breeds while leaving the rest to, to exist, it, it's, like, it's, it's like there's not even a ban. Because some people don't even know the difference between breeds. A lot of pit nutters, dog nutters, Dog nut. They don't even know different dog breeds from different dog breeds. They don't know nothing. Because they all look the same. They do the same thing. Even pit tards will call pit bulls a pit bull when it's not a pit bull. When people say pit bulls are not... I, I don't know. But you know what I mean. People say... They say even though it's a pit bull, a lot of bully tards will say it's not a pit bull. Even though they look exactly the same and they do exactly the same things. And you ban one pit bull or a couple of them, the same ones that look exactly the same. They look exactly the same. With a few differences. And they still do the same thing. They do exactly the same thing. And you get them because they do exactly the same thing like the other breeds do. So banning a couple of them or three of them does nothing when the others are left to exist in our society. It doesn't make sense. They're all the same. And I think all dogs should be banned and eliminated. All of them. And with, with dog lovers who are against this with who are against this pit bull thing, you you are the ones. I, I think it comes down to you. It's, it's, at the end of the day, these dog lovers who are against pit bulls, and you own a dog, I think it all comes down to you. Because you can't own another worthless mutt, even though it's not a pit bull. This, this is clearly not a pit bull, not a bully breed. You still own a dangerous dog. You still own something that can kill people. You still own something that is dangerous, that has diseases. You still own these worthless mutts. And you, it's, it's weird that you can know the facts about pit bulls and bully breeds, but you are, are oblivious to your own worthless mutts. Sure, one is dangerous, one kills more, but your dog is still worthless. Your dog is still disgusting. Your dog is still vile. And I think if these other dog nuts give up their dogs, just throw them away. If they all just throw away their dogs, then I think that is the key to demolishing this bully breed pit bull propaganda. Because you dog lovers, you, you, you don't really have good arguments. You don't, because you can't, you can't state facts about pit bulls, but while ignoring your own facts about your own worthless mutts. So I think it comes, I think you dog nuts are the key to abolishing and eliminating, helping to eliminate these pit bulls by giving up your own worthless mutt. If you give up yours... Now they can't say, you're discriminating against me. They can't say all dogs are the same. They can't say all dogs are individual. Because when you give up your dog, the pit nuts, the bully tars, they have nothing they can say. Because they don't say anything anyway. They don't say anything. 
But now that you've given away your, you, you have given up your dog, they become speechless. And the only thing that we and them can do is to eliminate the pit bull from our society. That's what I think. But anyways, go to the dog butcher. Now they're worth us once. And remember, it is okay to hate dogs. <laughs>